Northwest. Good morning, Northwest. Morning Sprint is brought to you by Bill's Heating and Air Conditioning. All right, it is 6.52. Time to get you ready to take on your Friday here in the Morning Sprint. Destiny Richards is live with a look at the new exhibitions on display for the fall at the Northwest Museum of Arts and Culture. Nikki, or Mark Peterson, excuse me, is tracking smoke and haze lingering into our weekend. And Nikki Torres has the latest on President Trump's big announcement. But we begin with the latest jobs numbers around the country. The U.S. economy added 661,000 jobs in September, according to the Bureau of Labor. That is down from 1.5 million in August and far below the 4.8 million jobs added in June. The unemployment rate fell to 7.9%. The report is the last look at the labor market before the presidential election next month. President Donald Trump and First Lady Melania Trump have both tested positive for coronavirus. The president tweeting last night saying he and his wife will quarantine immediately and this news is coming just a month before the election. It follows the announcement that one of his top aides also tested positive for the virus. President Trump is 74 years old. That does put him at a higher risk of serious complications from a virus that has infected more than 7 million people nationwide. According to the White House this morning, Trump is experiencing mild symptoms. The White House is expected to release a new schedule for Trump's campaign. The president's doctor has said that he expects the president to continue running the government during his isolation. Also, according to the White House this morning, Vice President Mike Pence has tested negative along with his wife and remains in good health. All right, you can hear more on the president's COVID-19 diagnosis coming up next on Good Morning America. This coming after months of President Trump downplaying the pandemic to the American people, claiming he did not want to cause more panic. The president attending crowded rallies, rarely seen in public wearing a mask despite recommendations from top health officials, and often heard mocking Joe Biden for wearing one. News of the first couple contracting the coronavirus sent the stock market futures tumbling. Dow futures fell more than 400 points this morning. NASDAQ and S&P 500 futures falling 2%. Democrats just passed a $2.2 trillion stimulus plan, but it's unlikely to ever become law. The plan passed with absolutely no support from Republicans, meaning it has virtually no chance in the Republican-controlled Senate. Lawmakers are under pressure to agree on a plan before Election Day, but time is running out. Treasury, Secret Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin presented a $1.6 trillion plan yesterday, but House Speaker Nancy Pelosi said that was not enough money. Democrats want more money for state and local governments, as well as unemployment insurance. But Republicans say they do not want to pass any bill that costs more than a trillion dollars. It's an unusual trend. The president continues to raise doubt over the integrity of the election. Those fears fueled by claims of the post office not being able to deliver ballots on time and reports of fraud with mail-in ballots. It's causing some of you to question something you've had no reason to doubt in the past. Ballots will go out later this month, but you can start preparing for the election now. In fact, state leaders here in Washington encourage you to fill out and return your ballot as soon as you can. Check to see if you're registered to vote by going to votewa.gov. The MAC is preparing to open three new exhibits this weekend. These are the first exhibits coming to the MAC since Pompeii closed last month. And since the pandemic started, these three new exhibits are coming to the MAC and will be open to MAC members tomorrow um, and open to the public on Sunday. Another World War II exhibit, American Inheritance Unpacking World War II, will open on October 10th. All visitors are required to follow COVID guidelines and these uh, fall exhibits will be here until early 2021. All right, taking a look at our first alert weather, the four things you need to know today. It's going to be warm temperatures. They're going to continue all weekend long. It's going to be sunny today, but again, that wildfire haze is going to stick around at least through Saturday. But the weekend itself should be beautiful. And your forecast for the weekend, highs nearing 80 degrees, hazy today and tomorrow. But again, Sunday looks to be sunny with a high of 78. And Spokane police are on the hunt for a killer this morning. The victim, a 15-year-old boy. Yesterday afternoon, Spokane police responded to South Fisk and Fifth Avenue for reports of a drive-by shooting near Underhill Park. Witnesses reported hearing several gunshots. The road was blocked for hours as detectives and forensic crews collected evidence, including shell casings. Police have not released any information about the vehicle the shooter was in. This is a developing story. Spokane Regional Health is keeping an eye on COVID-19 outbreaks at 13 care facilities, though infections at these facilities only make up a fraction of the county's cases. Most of the county's deaths are linked to them. 
three current outbreaks have 40 more cases of COVID-19, which include both residents and staff members. We'll be right back with a final check of the weather after this.